Now, let me show you how you can host your website on the internet. We successfully created this beautiful WordPress website in the WordPress theme. We started with understanding the basic WordPress theme. We understand the dashboard. We understand how to build this website with a simple HTML and then we convert this HTML template into WordPress theme. Now the time is to host this website on the internet. I'm going to close these default tabs. And now I'm going to show you how you can host this website on the free hosting provider. Now there are two types of hostings, paid and the free. Because this course is for beginners, we're going to choose the free hosting. Once you're familiar with this free hosting, you can purchase your own domain and hosting from the different hosting provider out there in the market. That's upon you. But the downside of choosing free hosting is you will not get top level domain. You will get subdomain with your domain name because nothing is free in this world. But this sentence is not true for me because everything you're learning in this course is absolutely free. You don't need to pay anything for that. That is why I created this channel, providing a free content for you. Anyway, the aim is to familiar you how to host your website. That is why I'm using free hosting service. I just wanted to familiar you how to host this website. So I'm going to choose the free hosting provider. So I'm going to just open a new tab and search for free hosting. So once I search for the free hosting, I'm going to have different website here. Now in this website, I'm going to choose the best one to create free hosting. So as you can notice, I'm going to have here www.webhost.com website to create free hosting. This website will provide free domain and hosting with no advertisement. So I'm going to use this website. So I'm going to click on it. Now, once you open this website, we have a message free web hosting. So you are going to get a free hosting with this website. Now, once you open this website, you need to sign up in this website and then it will provide you server space for your website. So I'm going to click on this free sign up. Now, there are many ways you can sign up with this website using hostinger.com, using your Facebook profile or using your Google profile. I already have account on this website, so I'm not going to sign up. Instead, I'm going to sign in in this website. So I'm going to sign in and see you there. Now, once you sign in, you're going to get this web page here. And from the screen, you're going to create a new website. So here you can see we have a button create a new site. I'm going to click on it and create a new site. Now I'm going to just specify website name. I'm going to just specify here daily tuition. If you want, you can choose your own name for this website. That's upon you. And then I'm going to change this password and say daily tuition admin. I'm going to click on this create button to create this website. Now, as I said, if you're using free hosting, you're going to have here subdomain. So I'm going to have this subdomain triple zero web host app. So this is going to be the subdomain of our website. I'm going to click on this create button to create this website. Now, once you create your site, you can notice we have here four options. If you choose this first option, you can build your website with pre-built elements. With the second option, this will install the WordPress in the hosting server and you can specify your own theme in that server. The third option will allow you to create your website with Wix and using this fourth option, you can upload your simple HTML template in the hosting server. So as you know, we have the WordPress theme. So I'm going to install the WordPress software in this hosting server. So I'm going to click on this install button to install the WordPress first and then I'm going to upload my WordPress theme. So I'm going to click on this install button to install the WordPress. When I click on it, you can see we have a message admin username. So this is going to be the username of my WordPress dashboard and this is going to be the password of the dashboard. So I'm going to specify admin for the username. So I'm going to leave this admin as it is and specify password admin at the rate one, two, three. Just out of that, you can notice we have the URL of this website dailytuition.000webhostapp.com and the language is English. I'm going to click on this install to install the WordPress on the hosting server. So I'm going to click on this install button and this will just take a few minutes to install the WordPress in the hosting server. Now you can notice here we have a message. Congratulations. It's ready. Now the WordPress is now ready. I'm going to click on this go to configuration page and open the WordPress. Now, when you click on it, this will open the WordPress login page. You can notice we have the website name daily tuition, then the subdomain triple zero webhostapp.com, and I'm going to have here wp login.php file. 
Now if I just get rid of this WP login and open my website, you can notice here I have my default WordPress theme. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the login of the WordPress dashboard. So I'm going to specify here forward slash and call the WP login page. Instead, you can call WP admin. When you search for it, this will just open the login page of the WordPress dashboard. Now, as you know, we specify admin and admin at the rate one, two, three password to this WordPress login. I'm going to specify this password and username and click on the login button. Now you can see this will just bring me to the dashboard of the WordPress theme. If you want, you can close these unnecessary tabs. I'm going to click on it and close these unnecessary tabs. Now I don't need to explain anything because you are completely familiar with this dashboard. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the appearance and I'm going to just click on these themes. When you click on it, this will open the themes screen and here you can see we have the default theme selected. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open my website. So I'm going to just open my website. So I'm going to hover over this daily tuition and open this website on a new tab. I'm going to have the domain name for this website dailytuition.webhostapp.com so this is going to be the name of this website and this is going to be the subdomain now as you can see we have the default theme selected to this wordpress website now what i'm going to do is i'm going to upload my own created wordpress theme and activate it i'm going to just back to my themes and right here you can notice i'm going to have option here add new i'm going to click on it and right from here I can upload my new theme. I'm going to close this panel and you can notice here using this upload theme, I can upload my own WordPress theme here. I'm going to click on it and you can notice I'm going to have here choose file element to choose my own WordPress theme. You can notice we have a message here. If you have a theme in zip format, you may install it by uploading it here. So we need to just back to the WordPress theme and just wrap it in the zip format. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the XAMPP folder where we have the WordPress website. I'm going to open the HD doc. Inside it, I'm going to have this WordPress software. In this WordPress software, I'm going to have WP content, themes, and in this theme, I'm going to have my WP template. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my WP template and I'm going to just right click on it and I'm going to just convert this folder into zip format. So I'm going to right click on it and select add to archive if you have a winrar installed in your system you're going to get this option here add to archive i'm going to click on it and create a zip folder of this wp template so i'm going to click on this archive format zip you can notice here i'm going to have the wp template zip file if i want i can change the name of this template i'm going to change it to daily tuition and what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload this zip file on the hosting server. So I'm going to just back to my hosting server and click on this choose file. And this will just open a new window where you can select your WordPress theme. So I'm going to select this dailytuition.zip file and click on this open. And then I'm going to install this WordPress theme by clicking on this install now. Now once your zip file is uploaded on the server, you can notice in the theme section you have your website here. I'm going to just click on this activate button to activate this website. As simple as that. And now when I reload this website, I'm going to have my own WordPress website. So I'm going to just reload this website. And as you can see, I'm going to have my own WordPress website here. Now what you need to do is you need to create navigation menu, banner area of this website, create different categories, create different blog posts and different popular tags. Now let me just create the navigation menu banner area, categories, blog post and the tag. So I'm going to back to my dashboard and I'm going to create here navigation menu. So I'm going to click on this menus and I'm going to create here new menu. So I'm going to select primary menu here and click on this create menu. And I'm going to just specify this menu in the primary location. So I'm going to select this primary menu and I'm going to just specify category. So I'm going to select the category and click on this add to menu. So I'm going to have category in the menu, save the changes and I'm going to just back to my post, create a new post and just out of that, I'm going to specify the title for this post. I'm going to copy the title from this post. So I'm going to open the localhost post. I'm going to copy this title, specify to this post 
and I'm going to copy these data as well and paste it in the paragraph block. Back to the document setting, create a new category for it and I'm going to create a new category and say tech. Create a new category, I'm going to just specify tags to it and here I'm going to say article and when I press comma, this will just specify article tag to this blog post. I'm going to specify next tag to it which is all. Just for that, as you can see, I'm going to have here feature image. I'm going to select my feature image. So I'm going to click on it and select my feature image. In this WP template, I'm going to have asset. In the images, you can notice I have here feature image. I'm going to select this first image, open it and upload this image in the server. Once I upload it, I'm going to select this feature image for this blog post. So this will specify feature image to this blog post and once I have my blog post, I'm going to publish it. I'm going to click on this publish button and publish it. As simple as that. Now you can notice my blog post is now live. Let me just show you. When I click on this all post, I'm going to have here two posts. I'm going to delete this hello world. So I'm going to select it and move it to the bean. You can notice here, I'm going to have here my blog post. Author of this blog post is admin. I'm going to specify category tech and the tags is going to be all an article. Let's back to the website and reload it. When I reload the website, you can notice I'm going to have my article here. As simple as that. You can notice I'm going to have these categories and popular tags. Just out of that, I'm going to specify banner image for this template. So I'm going to back to my dashboard and click on this customize. So I'm going to hover over this appearance and click on this customize. Now when you open the customize setting, you can notice we created this customizer setting to create this banner area. So I'm going to just open the header setting. I'm going to click on this select image, upload a new image. So in the images, I'm going to have this banner image. I'm going to select it and upload it in the WordPress hosting server. Now once the banner image is uploaded, I'm going to choose this image by clicking on this choose image option. And as you can see, your website is now completely ready. If you want, you can change this simplicity text and this description as well. That's upon you. I'm going to click on this publish button to save all the changes and back to the website and reload it. Now, you can notice I don't have this banner text and this description. To get this text, I'm going to just edit this text just like this and do the same for this description as well. And I'm going to click on this publish button and just reload my website. As simple as that. Just out of that, I'm going to just specify my custom logo for this website. So I'm going to back to my site identity and select my custom logo. So I'm going to just upload my logo. So I'm going to select this logo.png file and upload it in the hosting server just like this and click on this select button. If you want, you can crop this logo as well. Now, just for that, I'm going to publish this website and when you reload it, you have your website logo here. As simple as that. Now, as you can see, your website is live now. Now, you can create your own navigation menu, search for different blog posts, create different categories, create different blog posts and you can create your own popular tags. So, you can say you're not a beginner in WordPress theme development. You can probably say you know WordPress development well. I'm sadly say this is the end of the WordPress course journey. So this is the end of this course, but there is a lot more to come on this channel. Thank you. Thank you for your kind comments and valuable feedback on every video of the WordPress lectures. Don't forget to share this course with your friends. Support this channel on Patreon dailytuition.com. That is all for now. I will see you with a new topic with a new video. Till then, goodbye. See you and stay healthy.